Okay, France has recently billed Google for unpaid back tax. Do you think that the South Afri African government should look into doing something along these lines? Well, I think the South African government should look into any company that hasn't been paid, uh, been paying their taxes. And if Google's one of them, then I think Google should be uh, subject to that. I mean, what is clear is from, from let's say, the, the issues raid, raised around Google paying tax in the UK, France, and, and now Italy, is that um, those governments feel that Google has not been uh, paying its fair share of tax in those 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 countries, um, and uh, you know the situation in South Africa is probably similar. And you know I would suggest that the South African government uh, follows the lead of of some of the European uh, countries who have have done, already done quite a bit of thinking and investigation around this. Okay, so the issue is that Google has been found to not be paying taxes on advertising um, revenue. And you, as you said, this isn't illegal. It's due to some loopholes. Um, do you think that we should look into these loopholes and try to close them? I'd just like to correct you there. I don't think the issue is that Google's not paying taxes. I think it's, it's a question of how, how much taxes is, is it paying? You know, is mm -hmm. it paying I I enough to tax? Um, in terms of closing the loopholes, absolutely. I think um, taxes are vital for, I mean, we hate taxes. Uh, I hate taxes. Every, everyone hates taxes. But I think you'll find very few people that don't agree that taxes are, are vital for, um, you know, for building roads, building infrastructure, and, and keeping a, a, a country running. In terms of should they close the loopholes, it's not an easy loophole to close. But um, I think um, obviously governments should close those loopholes and, and look, at, look at a way to extract a fair taxation out, out of companies like Google so there is fair competition and that, so that the relationship that uh, uh, multinational tech companies have with, with countries, particularly small countries like South Africa, is not a parasitic one. And what I mean by, by a parasitic one is that you know, money and infrastructure development is both happening in this country as well as flowing outside the, the country. And so that, that relationship is not an imbalanced one where more money is flowing outside the country than value is being created in the country. Now, I know that you said that we should look at trying to close, close the loopholes. Do you think in light of this situation that the government will take action? Look, I think um, SARS is well known for... Um, you know, hunting down revenue opportunities. If, if SARS can uh, extract revenue um, and it feels that revenue is due to it, I think SARS will uh, take up that cudgel enthusiastically and, and with vigor. Uh, I think um, the government will also be um, enthused by the successes um, that governments in, in France and, and Italy have had. So my guess is is that they will uh, engage with these companies to 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 find a, 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 a fair a fair way forward. I think a lot of people are wondering about this issue. Google operates outside of the country, so how would our government actually go about taxing a company that mainly operates um, uh, outside of South Africa? Well, I think there are precedents for this. Um, wherever um, an, an industry, a local industry, is is under threat or has strategic importance to a country, you know, governments have instituted uh, import tariffs or special taxes. Um, we've seen it in the textile industry. We've seen it in in many other industries. So, you know, there's nothing new here. You know, there there there, there probably should be some kind of of, of special tax. And that special tax would essentially level the, the, the playing field and make sure that uh, local industry, in this case, uh, digital media and media in general, you know, is not under threat and will not uh, ultimately disappear as a result of you know, some very, very strong and, 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 and unfair competition.